Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a great time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be doing another episode in a series we've been creating called Five Best of the Drugstore. In this series, I talk through what I think are the five best products at the drugstore for each step of your skincare routine. If you've missed the previous videos, we've already done one on exfoliators, we've already tackled cleansers, and we've talked about vitamin C serums. Today, we're gonna to be doing the single most important step in any skincare routine, and that is your sun protection. Your SPF, your sun cream, whatever you call it, there is no point having a skincare routine if you're not using an SPF. Now, that seems like quite a bold statement, seems quite exaggerated, also implies I probably should have done this ver this episode in the series first, but you know, never mind, I'm gonna piece it together in a playlist, so by the end of it, you'll be able to run through it scene by scene. Now, the reason I say this is the most important step in your skincare routine is because 80% of the aging that we see by the time we hit our 50th year has been caused by the sun. The UVA rays, which are aging you, the UVB rays, which are burning you. These are cut every day, whether you work inside in an office, it's coming through the window. Whether you're just going for a walk on your lunch, you're still exposing yourself to those rays. It is absolutely essential that every single day we apply a sun factor protection of 30 or more to protect and our skin from the harmful rays of the sun. Now, that being said, it is quite expensive. A, sun, a good sunscreen, a good SPF can be quite expensive and it can cost a significant amount of money. So hopefully in this video, I'll be able to give you some really, really good alternatives to some of the luxury, the bougie, the pricey products that you see on the market. And I actually think of all the steps in your skincare routine, SPFs are the one where actually the more you pay doesn't always mean you get the better protection. Which, which is an organization here in the UK that sort of does consumer testing, tested a whole range of um, sun factor um, SPFs against their claims and found that most of them were, the protection they offered was falling below what they claimed it was offering. And actually some of the really expensive brands, the Hawaiian Tropics, the Coolers, some of these really expensive brands actually were falling below the protection they said that they offered. And some of the cheaper uh, brands, some of the drugstore owned brands actually performed reasonably well in that testing. So you don't need to spend the earth to get the protection. And hopefully this video is gonna show you that. So without further ado, we're gonna get straight into it. I'm gonna break it down as I usually do by skin type. Now, with SPFs, skin type doesn't matter as much because all the ones I'm recommending are gonna be non-comedogenic. That means they're not gonna clog your pores. There's no need to have a clog claw pogging, paw, paw clogging, I always do that, um, SPF in your routine. There's loads of non-comediogenic ones out there that are fantastic and they're the only ones I'm going to be recommending. So let's kick off with the ones that I think are just amazing for all skin types and then we'll go into the more specific ones later. As a heads up guys, I currently am using the In Transit Skin Defense by This Works. I love this product, I bought it at Christmas, it's lasted me forever, it's amazing, it acts as a moisturizer as well as an SPF. It's SPF 30, it's lightweight, you barely know you're wearing it, and I use this. This is not drugstore pricing, this is about 35 pounds here in the UK, so it's above that. It's not too expensive, but it's above that, and I'm using this at the moment. So, I don't have any of the products which I'm gonna be recommending to hand, but I have personally tried every single one of them in the past, so I feel confident in recommending them. That's just a bit of a heads up, and I will include a picture of each of them here so you know what the product looks like and you know the full name and spelling of the product if you want to order it online. So starting off, the first one I'm gonna recommend I think is a chemical sunscreen and that is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer. I love this product, I'll leave an image of it there. Neutrogena are fantastic, fantastic when it comes to SPFs. They don't get enough love and their SPFs are absolutely fantastic. This product comes in at about $15, so you're looking at about a 10 to 12 pound price point, which isn't that bad. Neutrogena tends to be cheaper in the US and slightly more expensive in the UK. It's just where it happens to be manufactured and some of the shipping charges, I believe, but that's just something to bear in mind. This is a sheer matte. SPF. You don't know you're wearing it. It dries down to matte perfection. So this is perfect for people with combination skin because you can put it all over the face, it'll mattify the T-zone and it'll hydrate the other areas that might be slightly dry. It is a gorgeous product. In the UK, it's factor, it's some factor protection SPF 50. In the US, it comes out as 60. 
The reason for that is in the UK, you're not legally allowed to market SPF above factor 50. In the US, you can market it up to 150. So that's the slight difference in this and why you might get a little bit confused. But whether you're buying the SPF 50 or the 60, it really doesn't matter. This is a gorgeous product. It is non-comedogenic, so it's suitable for people with acneic and oily skin. It's super mattifying. So if you're worried about looking oily or greasy, particularly in the height of summer, where we all know you step off the tube or off the subway and you're dripping, you look grim by the time you get to office you just look like an oil slick this will deal with that it's also moisturizing enough that you don't need to use a moisturizer and i think that's really really good particularly in the height of summer you don't want to be having to put moisturizer and spf on it's just more and more products loaded onto the skin that can make you feel bogged down make you feel heavy and just a, again a bit of greasy and a bit like your skin wants to breathe so i think it's fantastic because you can cut out the moisturizer from your skincare routine save you a few uh, dollars save you some time and cut down on the amount of products that you're applying so this is absolutely fantastic i honestly think if i just did stopped here i think this would be an absolutely fantastic video because this is a 10 out of 10 product and if you haven't tried it you would absolutely love it the only people i think this could be a bit problematic for is the very very dry skinned i don't think you want a mattifying um a mattifying product if you're super dry because it will exacerbate the look of some of that dryness and go into the cracks and the dryness of the skin and might look a little bit flaky on your skin so that's just something to bear in mind but unless you're super dry this is a gold standard product and i don't know why everybody doesn't have it in their skincare cabinet when i'm not using something that someone's bought or treated me to with like the in transit skin defense this is my go-to spf gorgeous love it here in the uk order it online because it's not available to buy in physical drugstores order it online in the us it's available all over the place so you're lucky treat yourself and buy this buy this spf second i'm going to go into what i think is the other of these these spfs which i think is applicable to absolutely everybody and i'm using this as um that was a chemical alternative the neutrogena for those of you that want a mineral sunscreen and there's loads of studies out there that say mineral sunscreens are less harmful to the body the chemicals i don't particularly subscribe to that i think providing you're using an spf that's all that matters but for those out there that prefer a mineral sunscreen i'm going to offer you an alternative which is the aven mineral fluid spf 50 leave an image there 18 pounds so it's quite high price point for the drugstore you will find that mineral sunscreens are always more expensive than chemical it's because the the sole reason for this is they don't sell in the same quantities so if you imagine a company has to research develop and produce all of these products and that has quite a lot of fixed costs and um, staff hours research time ingredients that all has quite a fixed cost so obviously the more units they produce and sell the more those fixed costs are spread out over meaning the individual product becomes cheaper because they sell so few of the mineral sunscreens compared to the chemical those fixed costs are more concentrated on the smaller units which is why they end up more expensive i hope that makes sense it made sense in my head let me know if it made sense in yours um, and basically it's hard to find a super cheap mineral sunscreen but Aven is a really good brand this is a sun factor protection 50 packed full of zinc oxide which is a fantastic sun protector and um, fantastic mineral sun protector it is non-comedogenic i would be a little bit careful because zinc oxide whilst it is it is non-comedogenic it can cause a little bit of irritation and blocked pores if you're not careful and wash it off thoroughly at the end of the day so just be careful on that but that is fabulous product it's very matte and it doesn't leave too much of a white cast which a lot of minerals spfs can so it's suitable for everybody if you haven't check it out gorgeous product definitely definitely my go-to mineral if i want a drugstore mineral spf now onto the specific skin type so what happens if you've got acneic oily and acne prone skin now i know because that is my skin type i used to hate the idea of putting spfs on because it just feels greasy it used to feel heavy it used to feel oily and you just think oh my god i'm putting this on my already oily skin it's going to just cause a breakout and i used to get a bit panicked about the idea of applying it and knowing that my skin was going to be sat underneath this layer of grease don't worry Honestly, if something says non-comedogenic on it and it's properly formulated, it shouldn't break you out or clog your pores. A fantastic, fantastic drugstore line is La Roche-Posay. I've raved about them on this channel before and I'm going to continue to rave about them. Their Effaclar SPF is just 
amazing. So it's a, it's a skin, the Everclad range is designed for acneic and breakout prone skin. It's absolutely amazing. If you haven't checked it out, check out the whole range. It's absolutely fantastic. But I think this SPF is the key. It is so lightweight, you barely know you're wearing it, which is amazing if you've got acne skin because you don't want to feel like the skin's heavy. You don't want to feel like it's greasy and heavy. It goes on matte and it's formulated not just with a factor 30 SPF, which is fantastic, but it's also got in there um, ingredients which are going to reduce hyperpigmentation, reduce the incid incidences of pigmentation. If you've got a breakout and you expose it to sun, it's going to chances are it's going to the body's going to react by creating melanin which causes the darker spots and that pigmentation this is going to prevent the formation of pigmentation which is absolutely essential if you've got acne or a current breakout going on gorgeous product comes in a very discreet tube and um, it's great if you want to pop it in your handbag pop it in your bag so you can use it later reapply later in the day if you want it is absolutely gorgeous it's unscented so it's not going to irritate the skin and there's no colorant in there so i just think it's a gold standard when it comes to taking care of acne prone skin and protecting against the sun that fantastic if you're oily what happens if you're the opposite and you're very dry i've said a lot of the products so far aren't really applicable to people with dry skin super dry i'm talking don't worry there's a product out there and that's the cerave facial moisturizing lotion cerave is fantastic if you've got dry skin cerave is just a fantastic line but their facial moisturizing lotion is an spf 30 and it's so hydrating, you probably won't even need to use a moisturiser with it. And that, for someone with dry skin, is life-changing and game-changing. It is so, so gentle on the skin. It hasn't got loads of the nasties that you often see in products. It's dermatologist-approved, it's non-comedogenic, and it is a sensational product when it comes to people with dry skin. Now, would I use this product if I was oily? I probably wouldn't. It's non-comedogenic, but still, it's very heavy, and it's quite a thick product. So I I think I would only recommend this to people with dry or very dry skin that are looking for that intense moisturizer with the SPF protection. That it's fabulous for. Anybody else, I think you might find this a little heavy and I would probably go for one of the others, but absolutely gorgeous product. You know CeraVe, it's going to be a good product when they put it out there. They're a fantastic line and this SPF, absolutely fantastic. Now on, I guess, to what I would call my final pick which again is going to be a mineral so i've tried to do broadly half and half mineral versus chemical and i hear a lot of you out there sensitive we have quite a lot of sensitive reactive skin subscribers and you're saying i don't really get on well with spf it either exacerbates my sensitivity i itch i feel it just tingles all day i know i've got family which have sensitive skin and they often say they'd rather do without an spf than wear one and have the itching sensation all day. Well, obviously, promise me you won't do without an SPF. That is the worst thing you can do. The worst, worst thing you can do. Itching is far better, far, far better than cancers, melanomas, and sun damage. However, there is a product which I think you'll be able to try and really isn't that well known, but you'll be able to try. And I honestly promise you, it will change up your SPF routine if you have sensitive or reactive skin. And that is the Neutrogena Pure and Free Baby Mineral SPF. I'm going to leave an image of it there. Forget the fact it's baby. In fact, actually, the fact it's baby is really good because often we formulate baby products far better than we do adult products because people seem to really take care of their infant children and then with themselves, I'll put any old crap on my face. It really doesn't matter, but I wouldn't do that to my baby. I can't get through that mentality. If you wouldn't do it to your child, and you shouldn't, why would you then do it to yourself? You should hold yourself to the same standard, whether it's your newborn child or you. And this product is gorgeous. It's formulated without any of the nasties. It does come under that clean skincare, which I hate that label, but it's genuinely formulated without any of the nasties, any fragrance, any colorant, any of the things that might irritate you. It's approved by the um, Eczema Association here in the UK, which is absolutely fantastic. That's a label that to me actually means something and says people with eczema, with rosacea, with um, dermatitis, people with skin conditions like that, it's essential you wear an SPF and so many don't because it's just not that, they can't find one that's compatible with their skin. Well, promise me you will try this one out because this will honestly change your skincare game. It is fantastic. Now, it's mineral based, it's non-comedogenic, it is perfectly safe for use on all skin types. 
I personally, if I was oily, and I am, would go for the Effaclar, something with more of a treatment element to it. But absolutely, I could still use this. And this is a really nice go-to, family-friendly mineral SPF. Because do you know what? A lot of people, if you've got young kids, you don't want to be applying a different... You don't want to be carrying three or four SPFs, one for the kids, one for me, one for... You want a catch-all that you can throw in your beach bag, go to the beach and apply it to all the family one. This is that product and it is gorgeous. So I recommend you check it out, look at it online and if you haven't already ordered it, buy it because it's cheap and it will genuinely change your SPF game. Right guys, I hope that's... I hope that's covered all bases for you. I don't want to go on too much about why it's important to apply SPF. I think we've all got that message. I think we know now. I just It makes me sad that people choose not to apply SPF because they haven't found one that works for them. So hopefully this video will help you if, you if that's you and you haven't found one that works for you. Or maybe you found a really bougie one and you want to save some money and go a little bit more drugstore. This will help you. Honestly, guys, any of these five are fantastic SPFs and are all applicable to everybody. If you want a treatment, go for the La Roche-Posay. If you're really dry, go for the CeraVe. But still, you still benefit from all of these. So let me know, guys. Leave me a comment. Which one do you try? Are you going to try any of these out? Are you already used some of these? Are you huge fans? Have you not got on? And do you just disagree with what I'm saying here? Leave me a comment below. I love to hear from you. Hopefully you give this video a thumbs up and follow us on um, Instagram, Asking Mad. We're really growing on Instagram as well as on YouTube. And it's fantastic to have all your amazing support. Love each and every one of you. If you're isolating and the idea of getting some sun and putting an SPF on is a distant memory, don't worry. We all are in this together. We want to share the love and it will all be over at some point and we can get out there and enjoy our summer, hopefully. Until the next video, guys, take care. Bye.